Greetings, Earthlings. It is I. I was asked about <clears throat> what I would call a vinyl survival kit. And I'm going to try to show you the things that you should have. Now, one of the things I want to say um, this is not a record cleaner. I'm not going to talk about a record cleaner because there are so many out there. I have a nitty gritty myself. I like it. Um, it's probably 20 years old. There's new ones on the market. I haven't really investigated them. And I don't want to mislead you. So I'm going to skip that altogether. I'm not even showing... Um, I'm not even giving any advice on a brand name. I'm just showing you the basics that you should have. As far as a fluid record cleaner, if you use a disc washer, whatever you you know you have to actually uh, put fluid on a turntable with a sponge type unit and clean records that way. Uh, I don't even use one of those anymore because I put it on the nitty gritty if I'm going to clean with uh, you know doing it, doing a wet clean. I use a nitty gritty, so I just wanted to make that you know that first uh, statement but if you're gonna own a turntable in my opinion and this is only my opinion this is the stuff that you need you need a stylus cleaner and those are brushes right there I've had this for 30 years this brush is paramount um, I believe Amazon Audio Advisor uh, through Amazon still sells this thing. This brush is at least 25 years old, and it's disgusting because it gets used every day. Um, but they call it a carbon fiber brush now. But these are very soft. You're really not supposed to touch it, but extremely soft. It gets rid of dust very well. The other thing you're going to need, you're going to need a small screwdriver. This here is a, I'm not going to take it out of the box. Well, yeah, I will. This is a stylus force gauge. And the way this works, matter of fact, let me, Now there's people that have actually done this, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through it, but the way it works is you've got your your little weight right here to slide up and down, and then if you put your stylus on it, you see that mirror. You see how the things come together. That's it. So if you need more than a gram and a half of tracking force, you go to the second scale right there. But all you do is you just grab your your stylus and. You bring the thing out and you drop your your stylus right there, boom, like that. I'm not doing it right now. I can't do this with one hand and hold the camera, and uh, that's just the way it is. But you can't trust those. What they'll tell you to do is <clears throat> they'll tell you to zero this out so that it balances. Zero this out and then use that uh, adjustment. Even even I have done five thousand dollar tone arms, even five thousand dollar tone arms, those are not right. By the time you get to the end and you're watching the guide and it says two grams, we were setting up a, a moving coil that, that demanded uh, it demanded two grams and uh, it, it was wrong. It, <laughs> they're always wrong. so. This is a must, in my opinion. They're not very much money. You can you can get them pretty cheap. Uh, another thing that I would have if I was going to have a turntable. Is lube oil. Now, I'm not going to take this apart because it's, it's uh, just been done, but. The older tables, you need to lubricate the main bearing, and also some of them the tone arm. I'm not going to get into that. It's you know how you do it with each specific turntable. 
and the points that you do it at. One of the things I want to mention, uh, this AR stuff is at least 20 years old, at least, and that's how much I've used in 20 years. And I've done several tables for other people, at least 10, and that's how much I've used. So, there you have it. The other thing is, buying an old jar, uh, an, you know, an old thing of this, you're probably going to get ancient stock. It's not necessarily the best stuff. Believe it or not, this is in here just so I've got it in my kit, but believe it or not, the synthetic uh, heavy lubricant, and, and yes, I'm going to go out and, on a limb and say this, um, the stuff like Amsoil, you know, they've got uh, um, rear end hypoid 80 weight, 90 weight synthetic is better than this for your for your bearing uh... what else was there was one other thing Oh, every audio file should have silly putty and this happens to be in my turntable thing uh... the reason why you should have silly putty we'll talk about it later it's actually not for turntables but um, these stay out all the time i use those on a daily basis the rest of this stuff goes in a case. And this is another thing. One of these metal cases, I think that they get, what is it, cookies at, uh, at Christmas. You get these. And I've got this. This sits in my record cabinet. And I always know where this stuff is. So that's a good start. You should always have that stuff if you're going to own a turntable. Alrighty, see ya.